Have you noticed that a lot of the apps on your phone have actually moved the main navigation to the bottom of the screen? Think Instagram or Gmail or even your messaging app. When you're going to message someone, all of the accessible options are there at the bottom of the screen. We can do the exact same thing with your Squarespace website. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to move your website navigation to the bottom of the screen on smaller devices. We're going to do this using just a little bit of custom code, and I've included that code in the description below. But without further ado, I'm going to share my screen with you to teach you exactly how to use it in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and we're making changes to the mobile version of our site. So I'm gonna select the mobile view option. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, I'll select pages and then website tools and then custom CSS. This is where I want you to paste the code that you'll find underneath this video. And instantly we're going to see the header of our website has moved down to the bottom of the page. Now this looks great, but I want you to pay attention to what happens when we scroll. Did you see how the header jumped up a little bit and then it goes back down as we're scrolling? Definitely not the effect we want on our website. This actually has to do with the setting inside the desktop view. If we take a look at the desktop view, you'll notice the header goes away as we scroll down the screen and then we scroll back up and it reappears. That's something that we need to customize here inside Squarespace. Hop into edit mode and select edit site header. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the edit design option. And I want you to scroll down to the effects section where we can change the fixed header style to be basic. Now you can toggle off fixed position if you want or toggle it back on. Just make sure that the fixed header style is set to basic. All right, we'll select save and exit. And let's go back to the mobile preview of our website here. We'll notice that the header is there at the bottom, and if we scroll up, the header is going to stay exactly where it's supposed to be. Now, inside this code, if you want to change that background color, adjust this value right here. Maybe you want it to be bright red. Maybe you want it to be a linear gradient that is to the right and fades from purple to blue. Totally optional, super customizable. Just change the background color right here. Now above that, I have a box shadow code that lifts it slightly off the page. Remove that if you want to, totally optional, but I think it helps separate the content from the header itself. And then I also added a border to the top of the header, again, totally optional. I want you to leave these alone where it says position fixed, bottom zero, and top auto. Those are very important. Those make sure that your header stays at the bottom of your website on mobile devices, no matter what device is being used. Now, underneath all of that, we've got some content here that changes the page itself. Definitely leave this stuff how it is. That's set to make sure that the content of your page is going to be displayed in proportion to the header of your website that we moved. So again, the only parts you're going to want to change are the background, the box shadow, and the border on the top. Feel free to get extra creative there. Just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. All right, my friend, that code we used is listed in the description below, along with links to related content. So if you want to learn more about all the cool things that Squarespace can do, definitely check out some of the links below. I'm Becca Harpain from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.